Have you ever gone to an old church and been in awe of the art and architecture? The beautiful work of the past does not stay that way forever. It requires modern day craftsmen to maintain it. Today, 7 News reporter Colin Roos went to a workshop where the techniques to keep up these historical treasures were passed on. He joins us now live in the studio. Colin. Catherine, to those of us unfamiliar with them, blacksmithing and stained glass window making might not sound like modern career paths. You might even think they're trades of the distant past that can't be applied in our modern screen-filled world, but they're still very much alive and needed today, and they're being taught at Belmont College right now. I went there today to see how these tradespeople are carrying the torch. Year by year and day by day, our history is slipping away from us. From the floors to the walls to the crown molding, old buildings were designed and assembled by dedicated tradespeople piece by piece. But even the finest craftsmanship can't stand up forever to the weathering of age. And that's why we need the preservation trades. They're people who maintain these products of our past using the techniques of the past. There's a lot of oral history there. A lot of it is taught by hand through a conversation over the course of time with your mentor. It's knowledge you can't get directly from a book. And it's being passed down to students at the International Preservation Trades Workshop. Belmont College's Building Preservation and Restoration Program hosted demonstrations, including masonry, stone carving, and plaster. A few of the tools are new, but the know-how is the same as it was centuries ago. A lot of the information is, is unchanged. You know, for example, in stained glass, we use the same tools, we use the same glass paints and assembly. In-demand tradesmen from around the world flew in to give master classes on their craft. An expert on a 19th century plaster called Scagliola says he was called to work on the Capitol Building and Buckingham Palace for his uncommon skill. Savanti says there's a need to pass on these tried and true techniques, especially as the old guard retires. There's just a great demand for, as our buildings in America age, how we, how we work on them. It's art, it's history, and it's tradition. Tradition that won't let the fine detail of a bygone time slip through our fingers. The workshop runs until Saturday, and that's also the day the trade demonstrations are open to the public. You can come learn their secrets at 1.30 in the afternoon. Live in the 7 News studio, I'm Colin Roos, working for you.